Pocket traffic, Baron 3175, Whiskey departing runway 15 for a southwest departure, Pocket. All right, there's his turn. All right, gauges in the green. Fuel for Oh shit. Board, everybody. We're here in Apopka, Florida, uh, just outside of Orlando. We just wrapped up a fantastic weekend with some really good friends. Had a good time, roasted a pig, and had popped some wheelies, <laughs> and all kinds of good stuff. But we'll talk about that uh, momentarily in flight. Uh, for now, we're just going to go ahead and fly VFR from Apopka. It'll just got one little layer we gotta get through, and I think it'll be easier for us just to go VFR. So we'll go VFR from Apopka down to Lakeland and Puna Gorda. Good, Phil. Good. Do it sideways. <laughs> All right. <sighs> hot. Hot? Are you hot? It's hot. Who let me pack a long sleeve shirt? I packed a long sleeve shirt too, if that makes you feel any better. I'm just not wearing it. I did pack it. That's when I feel different. You're farther uh, back? Yeah, I'm like, I feel awkward and all that traffic yeah it's gonna be a little bit of a cluster getting out of here yeah. we have to keep our eyes peeled and use that uh, active traffic to help us find everybody pocket traffic Baron 3175 was he's gonna line up and wait runway 15 a pocket touching now Fox traffic, Archer, 3-9-5-Alpha, in the middle of, like, Apopka, doing 3-9-5-Alpha. Apopka traffic, uh, Avenger 5155, Mike is on a right downwind for runway 15, touch and go. Alright, I got him. Yep, I see him. Got him in front, we'll give him a second. And we see them both right here on traffic. Alright, he's making his turn. Pocket traffic, Baron 3175, Whiskey departing runway 15 for a southwest departure, Apaka. All right, there's his turn. All right, gauges in the green. Fuel for Oh shit. Yeah. I, thought, I thought I heard wind noise, and I'm like, I don't know where it's yeah, coming from. Yeah, I look back. Uh, Pop traffic, Baron 3175, Whiskey's uh, boarding takeoff, uh, turning off of Alpha Paca. Pop the traffic, Sundowner 55 Mike, turning right base for only one five, touch and go, pop the traffic. How did that even happen? Ooh, that window popped open. It happens. <laughs> I've actually, I've had it pop open in flight once. Probably could have just grabbed it and closed it in flight, but at this point, it the smart thing to do was simply to abort, abort while we had plenty of time and runway. Go. So uh, you're gonna have so, to kind of walk me through it. Yeah, I'll actually just probably do it myself. Okay. I mean, let's just get up here. We'll go taxi back up. Well, there you go. Now I get to see what a real. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally sitting here going, I feel like I hear more noise than normal. And I'm going, is it my sunglasses? Is it, is my Bluetooth on, or is my um, noise canceling on? Is it, what, so, what so, is uh, it? I heard the noise and then I looked at your door thinking your door popped open. Right. And then I'm like, well, your door's not popped open. Okay, let's go we'll continue. And then uh, I looked back and I saw that back windows open. 
Uh, obviously, I'm more like <laughs> flustered and yeah, well, scared than you are. Well, I mean, that's what what you know, being always being prepared to abort at all times is about, and that's what they talk about. Ugh. Especially in a piston, you know, in a, in a jet, sometimes you're better off taking things in the air, but in a piston. More often than not, if you can not take off, the best option is always to not take off in a piston. Now, if this was a shorter runway, if this was a, you know, 2,500 foot runway or something we were trying to sneak out on, then, uh, you know, that changes your options. These are things you got to consider before you ever even uh, begin your takeoff roll is, you know, what, what are you going to do if this scenario happens? And, you know, what's your go, no-go decision? What's it based on? And some of that depends on what the failure is, right? All right, let me get this window. Oh, man. All right, honey. Uh. Ow. <sighs> oh. There we go. That's locked. Ow. Oh. Hurt my hand. So when I had a window open pop up on me before in this airplane, it was the one behind me. And it was um, at night. Pitch black night. And that thing popped open. You want to talk about loud and scary? Holy crap. That scared the crap out of me in the middle of the night. I heard a loud bang. All right, good times. All right. Okay, seatbelt back on. So, trying. Not getting it right. Getting it straight. There we go. All right. Apaka traffic. Baron 3175 was he's lining up in wait. Runway 15, Apaka. Taking off now, so you're clear on clearing. All right. Uh, Apaka traffic light support 5771 Tango uniform is about four <laughs> miles. Southwest of the field, inbound for the 4515 of Apka. What's your altitude, light support? Uh, looking at 2,300, descending to uh, 1,300. Roger, we'll keep an eye out for you, Sam Lowski. All right, he's making his turn. Pocket traffic, Baron 3175, Whiskey on the road, runway 15 for a southwest view of our departure. Pocket. Orlando Apopka, automated advisory, wind 190 at 3 knots, temperature 2 knots All right. Celsius, again. Power 2 set. 3 Celsius, fuel flow, airspeed alive, density altitude 1, Ooh, this runway's a little rough, 84 knots, how's it right, gear up, there's that guy, yep, got him, there's a bird. Uh, pop traffic lights, 4577, Tango Uniform, white, yellow, high wing, uh, over the, or uh, entering the 45 for runway 15. I do have the departing traffic in sight, as well as one plane in the downwind, a pop good traffic. All right, pop a traffic, band 3175, which is just departed 15, turning southwest bound, last call, pop down. All right, we got the Disney TFR ahead of us, so we gotta make sure we don't enter that. Fast traffic, traffic Cherokee. Yeah, I wonder if we can like right, right there. Uh, uh, the left down uh, it's too steep. We're not going to do five, Sebastian. Uh, we're good for the moment. We're Where just, are we? We're just 25. There. Yeah. yeah. Just stay right here for the moment. Just keep an eye out for traffic. See yep. nobody on the active right now, so we're good. And we thought this was going to be a boring flight. <laughs> a Popka is never a boring flight, to be oh, honest. That's a true statement. I mean... That's true. Alright, let's go ahead and try to hit that gap right there. Let's climb, shall we? Oh, the VFR world of flying. Reminds me why I like my IFR flying. Some people are like, why do you do that? It's, it's more work. Like, no, I think it's less work. All right, we can cut that corner now. Go ahead and give me direct when I go there. One nine six. No reason to go direct to Lakeland. That's what's funny is I'm looking at it and I'm like. I know it took me a second to remember. We're allowed to cut the corner. I know. We can do whatever we want. Do what I want. <laughs> We can do whatever we like. All right. Go all the way over. 
There's somebody 3,000 below us right now. Right, we're going to go hit this gap to the left. All right, that sound you heard was top of our descent. And start our way down. About 500 feet per minute. So that's a relatively quick flight, even though we are pretty high. We got high to get above all this weather. Uh, we had a pretty fun weekend, I must say. Yes. Met up with uh, some really, really good friends. A pre-Thanksgiving, a Friendsgiving, as he... Friendsgiving, now. Yep. As he uh, refers to it. Love it. And so we had all kinds of food, turkey, roasted a pig. Yeah, the pig roast is new to me. I have never roasted a pig before, yeah. I, I must admit. Um, I've eaten pork, of course, you know, we all have. I've just never actually had a quote-unquote pig roast. But I must say, that was actually de delish. And of course, uh, what would be a get-together if uh, there wasn't toys involved? Yeah. So we had a little toy action. Where our boy decided he was going to ride a... It's a mix between a cooler and a go-kart? I was going to say, I kind of would say go-kart. And as bad as that sounds of an idea, is exactly what it was. And then we had the ruckus. And then, of course, he wanted to uh, pop a wheelie. <laughs> oh, he, he didn't get hurt, of course. Totally fine. Totally fine. Then we had and of course that, that then monster there was, truck. Then there was the monster cart. golf cart, which was phenomenal. You got to go for a ride on that I thing. I did. It's got to be the biggest golf cart I've ever seen in my life. Um, apparently, it can go up to about 40 miles an hour. We did not experience that. No, nor would I want you to. And then we had the two antique, uh, I believe, Ford. Um, F-150s? I don't know if they were called F-150s back then. Uh, I don't know if I got footage of, of the first one. The, the, the first one? Um, the red one, the one that was had the really nice paint job. But, I know Phil did. But I got the second one, and the second one was was really cool. I actually liked the fact that the paint hadn't been redone. I kind of oh, yeah. liked that rustic look. It actually gave it uh, personality, if you will. So that was really cool. And then there's the hangar. So... I'm not often jealous of hangers, but this is a great example, right? Definitely so, hanger envy. Oh, I mean, the, the, the hangar is so nice. And and the toys that are in there, I mean, you know, he's got that. Besides, of course, the Air Commando, which we've uh, gone on a flight in, and you guys have seen. We have his, his brand new paint job on the arrows there. The hangar was so well done. The floors are, are, are just shiny, and, and even uh, there's a place to hang out on the couch, and there's a TV, and and a coffee maker. Of course, I noticed there was a Baron Pilot sticker there. I got to add out, but um, you know, I almost feel bad for calling Adam out because I did see. And I'm sorry to call you out, but there was a bit of a uh, unicorn on the couch. I'm sure he's gonna come up with a pretty good story. I'm not gonna believe a word of it. His man cave. He can yeah. do whatever he wants. Yeah, man cave had a unicorn. Just yeah. saying. But even the bathroom. I mean, he's put a shower in there and the tiling and it's a full-blown shower with a shower with the rain head and uh, i mean it's definitely a cool man cave and i um, have hanger envy slash look forward to uh have hopefully having our own one day Hi. all right see the peace river ahead of us i do you can see yeah. on this side here as it feeds all the way out until it opens up and i see the airport and right on the other side if you see the bridge up ahead point to that air, to that uh, open space, I should say, is the airport. So we are 13 miles out. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a call, and let them know we're coming. I'm gonna go to the tower, Baron 3175. Whiskey is 11 to the north inbound with Sierra. Full stop. Baron 3175. Whiskey, report uh, right down one for 33, and uh, you're just north of Walmart distribution there. We're a couple miles. All right, report the right down for 33 and affirm. I'm like right over the Peace River right now. Roger. That's the Walmart. Yeah. All right, so we're going to enter a right down one for 3-3. Three, three. I'm just going to go with flaps approach. All right, 427. I can't see 1533. Okay, I got him. 760, contact 4 Mars departure. Put a little tower around 3175. Whiskey's entering a right down one for 3-3. Three, three. All right, 75, Whiskey, continue. I'll have your base. I'll call your base turn. You'll call my base, 75, Whiskey. So we are currently right over um, the approach end of 2-2. Two, two. 
Yeah. Short 75 Whiskey, your number one for the airport, runway 33, clear to land. Alright, 33, clear to land, 75 Whiskey. But he'll call space still. No, nope. we're not clear. Okay. So once we get a beam the numbers, then we we'll, uh, we'll drop the gear and we'll turn. begin our turn. Okay, you have a start your climb. Alright, we're parallel with the numbers. Now, two, just stay out wide, you're going to be following traffic just to put going down. right on a closer in downwind. Uh, let me know when you see them, they're 1200 feet off your right wing. We got three green. All right, cross down. All right, we'll continue the right turn in our climb. Thank you, and over to uh, departure. There you go. Uh, flaps. Land. And 75 Whiskey, you start your base yet? Uh, firm. I'm about to turn final, 75 Whiskey. Roger. And uh, jump to the uh, aircraft just off your right. You can continue your descent. They're about base to final now, just a mile north, northwest west of you. Let me know you see them. 500. 500 feet. We're at three green. Flaps land, clear to land. The other traffic. Oh. Tower seven five whiskey, where are you parking? Uh, 200 hangar, 75 whiskey. Okay, I left to Charlie or rolled all the way out down to the end, either one, and contact ground, 119 or 55. Charlie, number to ground, 75 whiskey. Ground. Ground, man, 3175 whiskey, clear 33 at Charlie for 200 hangar. 75 whiskey, find a good ground, welcome home, Tax to your ramp via Delta Fox. To the ramp via Delta Fox, and it's great to be home, 75 whiskey. You know, I think you're getting better at your landings. Put the go to ground. Baron 3670 Delta. I mean it. For the so welcome to Puna Gorda. Welcome home. Welcome home. A good time, good little video, great little weekend. As always, guys, if you like these videos, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. And you want to take do one step further for me, share this video with your friends. Let people know what we're doing. Help spread the word. Uh, the YouTube algorithm doesn't always uh, push out the videos. Doesn't even, even let everyone know who subscribes to my channel that I have a new video out. So... Um, if you want to support this channel, that's probably one of the best things you can do is uh, just help spread the word, let your friends know, hey, did you see that latest video? Or text it to them, email it to them, whatever it takes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got lots of stuff going on, lots of stuff planned. Got a big trip out to Texas. And uh, after that trip, we might actually might end up going up to Ohio. Get some stuff done up there as well. So there's a lot going on, and you definitely uh, don't want to miss out. All right, guys, until next time, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.